Alpine Linux provides several options to download. Here, I will download the Vert ISO that is made for virtual machine setups. You may also use the standard edition and an extended ISO. Open VirtualBox and click on the new button to start creating a new VM. Choose the downloaded ISO. Allocate some RAM to the VM. Usually, 2 GB is enough for Alpine. Also, allocate some processors. On this screen, you need to provide the storage space. 25 gigabytes will be more than sufficient for a test virtual machine. Change according to your need. Now, select the machine then select the settings menu at the top. Select the display tab and put the display memory to max. Click on OK after this. Now, start the VM. When the machine starts, you will be prompted to log in. Just type root and enter. The default root user has no password. Once logged in as root, enter this command. This will start the installer. You need to select the keyboard layout. Here, I have chosen US. It will ask to select the variant in US keyboard. I again enter US as the option. Enter a host name of your choice. The default was localhost. And then press enter. Installer will ask for the network interface selection. Since it selected the default for me, I will press enter key. If you have other interfaces, you can select question mark for help. For VirtualBox, the default is enough. It now asks to set the IP. I am going with the default DHCP. Also, no further manual settings. As I mentioned earlier, the root account has no password. You have to set it up for the security purpose. You need to type and retype the root password in this step. Needless to say that nothing is displayed on the screen when you type the password. Just type it and press enter. You need to select the time zone. The default is UTC. Press question mark for listing the available time zones. Subsequently, you have to set the region. Like before, press question mark for listing all the available area in the given time zone. If you have any HTTP proxy, enter it at this stage, I had nothing, so I skipped the step by pressing the enter key. Now, you need to press F and enter to automatically analyze and save the fastest mirror from the list. This will analyze and do the rest for you. Wait for a couple of minutes. You will need an additional user besides the root for normal use cases. You can create it here, right within the installer. For this, you need to enter a username, all small letters, full name for the user and type and retype the user password. Next is some SSH related settings, and I have chosen all the default options by just pressing the enter key. 
This step is important, as it decides the installation of the system. You need to partition the disk. It will list the available disk, and you can enter question mark for help. Then select the disk that needs to be used by name. In my case, it is the SDA, with the storage space. This will ask how to use it. You have several options like SIS, data etc. For normal use cases, you need to select the SIS option and press enter. It will then show a warning about erasing the data. Press Y and enter. After some time, you will get a notification that the installation is complete. You can either reboot the system here, but I will shut down the system using this command. Then, remove the attached ISO and start the machine again to avoid booting into the live ISO. Now, you have installed the base system, but there is no desktop installed. So, you will be logged into the console again. You will now set up a Minimal X desktop and LightDM display manager for our Alpine Linux installation. So, after booting into the system, log in as root. Just use the username as root and enter the root password you have set during the installation. You need an editor for editing some config files. Since Alpine is a minimal setup, you need to install an editor first. Install nano editor using this command. First, make sure that the default user is added to will group. For me, it was added automatically. To check, run this command. This will list the groups your user is currently in. Look for the word wheel. If not, you can add by using this command. Now that the user is added to the wheel group, make sure the wheel group has its privileges by checking for the following line in doas.conf file. If not, edit the file using this command. By default, Alpine Linux does not have the community repository enabled. But you should have this to install more packages. So, edit the repository's file using this command. Now, uncomment the line that refers to community repositories then save and exit. Before installing the XFCE desktop, you need to make sure that you have XORG base set up. For this, Alpine Linux provides a neat way. Run the code in the screen. This will install the required packages for you. Now, you need to install the XFCE and related packages. I am going to use the LightDM Desktop Manager. So, run the command in the screen to install. Once installation is finished, start the D-Bus or Desktop Bus service. Enable D-Bus to start on boot. Enable UDev service. 
Now start the light DM using this command. If your light DM GUI has started and prompts a login, log in as root and open a terminal. Next, run this command to enable LightDM to start up during boot. If you want to allow the users to shut down the machine or reboot the system, you need to have Poke Intelligent and Elegant installed. Now, reboot the system. I hope you find this quick video tutorial helpful in getting started with Alpine Linux. Please let me know if you have questions or suggestions.